for the wind. Wanted to uh, bring you guys out with me. Uh, this is officially my, I want to say my third ride on the Triumph Tiger Sport 660. And uh, I put about 100 miles on it already and I wanted to do kind of like an official owner's review. The first time, the first video, which you can see up here, is kind of like the breakdown and the rundown of all the, um, all the specs that kind of really matter, uh, that really matter to owners or should matter to owners. Um, this one is more of my impression on this particular motorcycle. The first thing I wanted to say was that it is one of the best middleweight motorcycles I've ever been on. Why do I say that? The reason why is that it's a perfect, perfect bike for someone to come up to from a, a smaller displacement motorcycle and it's a perfect bike for someone to come down to from, let's say, a leader bike or uh, 800cc, 900cc. Uh, I think it has somewhere around 80, um, 80 horsepower and something like 40 pounds of torque. Uh, uh, more than enough to have a ton of fun in the twisties, uh, to tour, to do whatever you need it need this motorcycle to do for you you can commute you can have fun on the weekends with your friends or by yourself a couple of things i want to talk about specifically are um, the brakes and uh, the performance of the engine i'm coming from a single rotor single disc um, motorcycle and to me these dual discs yeah they're not brembos but boy are they mean <laughs> they are so good um, they're still the Nissan piston, the same as my uh, Triumph Bonneville, but um, now it's dual rotors. And man, the first time I, I uh, applied the front brakes, whew, it, it caught me off guard how good they are, uh, how good the bite is. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't worry about that unless you're coming from a, a motorcycle that's a performance vehicle that, that has the Brembos and has the, the bigger pistons. This is going to be more than more than enough, and the rear, uh, rear is just as good. Um, the seating position is very neutral, very good, very comfortable. Um, the seat itself is the comfort seat, though I have yet to feel the actual comfort, so I'm not sure where the actual comfort comes in. Maybe it needs to be broken in some, so we'll see about that. The dash and display, everything is very simple, uh, easy to get through. The engine, uh, it's, it's good. It's, it's very good. It's a triple. It comes from the street triple or the Daytona, I believe, an older version. And uh, I have not had any issues with it. It, you know, goes through the cycles through the gears. Great. Uh, more than enough power to beat anybody off the line. Any car that you need to pass. Uh, no issues there. Um, I, I, will, I will say that the um, factory installed heated grips not great um, at its highest setting you you kind of barely feel them I'm wondering if it's some kind of an issue that could be resolved later with a, um, with a firmware update I'm not sure uh, I hear little rumblings here and there that I'm not the only one that's that, that has an issue with that the screen the adjustable screen uh, I'm five six five seven ish uh, works great for me I don't really feel the buffering buffeting on the helmet it's very comfortable no issues there at all I'm still playing around with the, the rear suspension. As you can see um, right here, you can adjust the rear suspension preload. So I'm playing around, seeing what feels good. Uh, overall, it's comfortable. It soaks up the, the cracks and um, um, any kind of bumps on the road, I'm not feeling any issues. Same for the front. Uh, unless, you, <laughs> unless you decide to take it off road somewhere, you're probably not gonna have any issues either. These are the Michelin Road 5 tires. Again, made for the road. Perfect for the environment right now. We have snow melting. Um, I'm running through some puddles. I haven't had any issues in the wet, in the dry. Uh, hopefully not to hit any ice. Uh, it's a dope bike, guys. Um, if, you're, if you're hesitating, I wouldn't because if you're able to take it for a test ride, if your dealer is allowing that sort of thing, 
uh, great, I would, I wouldn't hesitate to try it. If you're upgrading from a, you know, from a smaller displacement motorcycle, or even downgrading because you just don't need the power anymore, it takes the, the Trident platform and kind of builds on it, makes it even better. It, it creates this kind of like an all-rounder touring machine, lightweight, should be able to take you anywhere you want. Don't hesitate. So far, I've got nothing but great things to say about it and it's not one of those situations where well I bought it so I gotta love it <laughs> um, I remember when I bought the um, BMW G310 GS and uh, uh, it's not that I regretted it immediately but almost <laughs> because you could tell in traffic that that the, the power just wasn't there the, uh, it, it was fine you know 30 40 miles per hour on the side streets but uh but this thing i can't wait to do longer longer rides on uh, so yeah uh, shout out below in the comments uh let me know what you guys think of this little baby this little motorcycle over here if you have any questions i can answer them for you it is my motorcycle so i will be doing more videos um on this little beast and uh if you do have any questions uh definitely don't hesitate Put them down below and uh, definitely hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content on this triumph tiger sport 660 until next time i'll see you guys later right safe